Hail Champion, and welcome to my Nerd Forge. So what's happening this week in our Forge? Glad you asked. This week in our Forge, we are going to continue finishing up the campsite building set that we are making. Um, they're all going to be fully painted before I take a bunch of pictures, videos, and add them onto our web store and on our Etsy page. So stay tuned for much, much more coming about the camp set. Inside of the camp set, in case you guys are wondering, there is going to be tents, bedrolls, crates, chests, obviously a campfire. There's pretty much miscellaneous goodies in there. So a DM can use this either for an enemy encounter, or they can even use it for their party's short rest or long rest or anything like that. Another cool thing that we're stirring up here in our forge are height markers or height tiles, whatever you feel comfortable enough calling them. So if you have a wizard who likes to levitate or if you have a flying creature, we do have height tiles that are gonna be translucent. They come in five foot and 10 foot variants and they're gonna be magnetic. So you can actually stack them as pretty much as high as you want. Now, as for right now, we just have the five foot tiles and then we have for medium creatures, medium and small. And then we're making the large variant, which is essentially four tiles. And that will also be translucent at five foot and 10 foot variations. Other than the campsite and the height tiles, we're refining the orc miniatures and we're changing up how we're going to be doing our seasons. Instead of doing seasons on a scheduled release, how I'm going to be doing it is pretty much I'm going to be making up batches of miniatures. So I'm refining the orcs and I'm releasing them, re-releasing them as the orcs and goblins set. And in this set, there's going to be the Orc Berserker or Barbarian. There's going to be the Orc uh, Foot Soldier. Then there's going to be the Orc Blade Master that's mounted on a war. I'm also going to be revising the Goblin Shaman and the Goblin Assassin. And I'm also adding a new creature in the mix, a Hobgoblin. Now, later on, I'll be releasing... Uh, different variations of the hobgoblin like I did with the orcs and the goblins right now It's just gonna be a standard fully plated hobgoblin with a sword and a shield later on I'll add chieftains and warlords and all the goodies I'm gonna be talking more about the orcs and goblins set next week as I'm still sculpting them right now in ZBrush still doing some fine-tuning on them, if you will. And before I release the media on any miniatures, before I was releasing them unpainted, I'm going to want to start releasing them fully painted now. So anytime I create a miniature, I'm going to paint it, and there'll be a line of it that's painted. If you do want your miniatures painted, we now offer a service where we paint miniatures for you before we ship it out to you, whether you're getting a custom miniature, or even if you buy a WizKids miniature and you just wanted that miniature painted, we do offer painting services for you now. So if you're a DM or a player and need a bunch of minis painted and you hate painting, contact us. Now on to some Shadows of the Forgotten news. Normally I would make an entire video on Shadows of the Forgotten, however, not too much has happened in the past couple weeks, so I'm going to cram it into this video. I'm working with some amazing artists that I met on Twitter, and we're, at this point, making some concept art for the tabletop game that I have created. So I'm, gonna, I'm working on the video in the media end of it, the animations, and they're working on the artwork. Once everything is completed, I'll have pretty much a whole new video to show you. Not too much of the world building has happened, just because we are working on new media, new videos for the Patreon page, for the future Kickstarter, and just for you guys to visually see the world that we are creating. 
So stay tuned for more Shadows of the Forgotten news within the next couple of weeks. But that's going to wrap up all the nerdy news that I have for you about our little local game store. So if you have any questions, comments, I'll meet you down below. Until then, stay tuned and stay nerdy, friends. <laughs>